Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. All right, I'm wearing my construction clothes, like building, like painting. And it's in part because of my video thoughts for the day. See, this week I've been looking at science and faith, and I've been discussing how we can see in creation reflections and insights into the creator. And I hope you've had a chance to listen to the other messages this week because they, they've also talked about how science is a tool that God's given us not only to understand his character, but to express his character in the way we live and work with people and things around us. So we can use God's nature in compassion to try to heal the sick or feed the hungry or clothe the naked and, and, and try to mend the broken heart or try to uh, help the brain find a more chemical balance. I mean, some people need lithium, for example, uh, uh, and, and other things that we've learned will actually help you. Uh, uh, in life overcome the results of the fall, some of the pain and the problems. So that's what I've been working at this week. And I thought going into the weekend, I would finish the week with one of my favorite passages in all of the Bible. It is a short Psalm found in the Old Testament in the book of Psalms, and it's Psalm number eight. If you've not read it or it doesn't click in your brain. I urge you to read it uh, this weekend. Here's what it has to say. Oh Lord, our Lord, you know, not just Lord God, but, but someone personal to me. How majestic, awesome is your name in all the earth. Then if you drop down a couple of verses, you've got this passage and it says, um, you know, that the, the, the moon and the stars are his handiwork, the work of his fingers. Now, in Hebrew, when it talks about the work of your hands or your hands, it's talking about things you do. Uh, when it talks about your arm, it's usually a, a metaphor or often a metaphor for strength. But your hands are for work. Now, when Hebrew talks about your fingers and works of your fingers, it's talking about delicate, fine little work. And so the heavens, the moon and the stars are described as fine, delicate work by God, which we understand in this age of science much better than the psalmist ever could have how delicate and fine this work is of God. But the awesome part of this awesome psalm is what follows. Because God's, uh, in the psalm, the psalmist says to God, you know, you've done the delicate finger work of making the awesome universe. And what is me? What is humanity? What's a person that you would care about me? that you would be mindful that God would think about me. Yet he does. You know, this Sunday, if you don't have a church home, uh, I hope you'll come or at least tune in on the internet to, to our church. I'll put a link down below. Uh, I get to teach class uh, like I do each Sunday, but following that, our pastor Jared is gonna be at one of our satellite campuses and I'll get to preach the service at the main campus. And the topic that he's got me preaching on is talking about the nature of God and how we study God to know him better, to be in a relationship with him. And it links back in part to this psalm because the God who did the fine detail of all that science reveals, not just the atom, 
but the subatomic particles, dark matter, things that scientists are still trying to figure out that hold the universe together. Those are the handiwork and the finger fine detail work of God. And the same God who did that for the quadrillion, trillion, bazillion stars of the galaxies has you in mind today because he wants to be in a relationship with you. And that blows my mind. And that is your video thought for the day.